Hello folks, good morning and welcome back to another session. This week I've come out on lures again, uh, just why we can try and get the gaps in the weather. I'm going to try and do as much lure fishing as I can um, and really hammer it and see if we can try and catch some decent fish this year. Uh, so I've come down to the same point I've usually been fishing. Uh, we're going to try something a little bit different this morning, so I'll flip the camera around and show you what the plan is. Right then, so on this session I've come with all the other conventional lures we've been using before, but I've also come with these fellas, uh, some squid jigs, and for the first part of the session, we're going to just give this little fella a go uh, and see if we can try and catch a squid. I've never done any squid fishing before. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so we're just going to cast it out um, and then let it drop and then retrieve and let it drop again. I think that's the plan. So we're going to give this a go for the first part of the session, then we'll jump on some top waters when the light breaks. Right, so first cast with a squid jig. Now I've heard. <laughs> I've heard that squid do like a lot of light. I mean, where we are at the moment, it's pitch black, but there's a blink up on the squid jig itself. So we shall see. How we get on? Like I say, I'm not, I'm not hoping for much. I just wanted to give it a go. Let's see. Are we get any takes? Nice big band of rain coming in between six and seven. So we will see how we get on with that. Thought we'd try something different to start the morning. Mornings are definitely much colder now, it feels like summer's just popped in and said goodbye. Go. A good old weed. You get a couple of cars for this fella. It's a bit, a bit too rough for my liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lure. We'll get a top water on and see if we can try and do anything with that. So yeah, definitely something to give a go over the next coming sessions. Hopefully, uh, you know, the weather improves and the water clarity goes clear again. We shall see. Right, so first top water out of the bag is the Fisher's Espetite. Let's throw this little fella around and uh, see if we can nail the bass today. All right, so back out at it. Let's do it. No one else on the beach. On the beach on my own completely. Don't think anyone else is mad to fish in this sort of like early morning. I 
fishing the highest highs down today. in the uh, water back here. Third class lucky. Have more cars for this, and then we'll uh, try something different. I think. Right, so we're gonna go for a soft plastic part of those teaser. Throw this about, see if we can get a take on this. It's the candy color, weedless. Let's give it a go. I'm just going to reel this real slow, real nice and slow. Nothing on that side. Change direction. Let's go. 
the other side. The sea's a lot rougher than I thought it was going to be this morning. I thought it was going to be a little bit flat. Looking at the weather forecast this morning, definitely said flat. But we're out fishing, that's all that matters. I think we may find it difficult today though. I can see a lot of a lot of stringy bits of weed in the water. Uh, the water's not as clear as it has been in the last couple of weeks. And it looks like the mackerel has seemed to uh, disappear. Nevertheless, we well, must persist. There's fish out there. Just gotta find them. Daylight is breaking. The question is, are there any fish about for us to catch?
I see no movement in the water at the moment. <coughs> Pardon me. Back at the think tank. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do today? Different lure. Fish is wobbly. Man, these things are so lifelike. Let's give this fellow a chuck. See if it'll be the lucky lure today. Man, it's a hell of a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be today. I'm still here in bloody shorts. I like the design of this lure, it's quite weird, it's, it's like a cross between a, a surface lure and a metal. It's like, it's like a metal with a hard casing and a rattle. Is the best way I could think of describing it. So I can't see the seal anymore, so I think he's gone a bit further up, which is good for us. You know, seals can sometimes be good and they sometimes be bad. If a seal's there, potentially the fish are there, but if a seal's there, there's a bigger predator in the area and it could chase away the fish that we want. So.
just taking a little bit of a closer look at the water then. Definitely ain't what it was like the last couple of days. <laughs> A lot darker than what it has been. I seem to have made a little friend. Been badgering me all morning. There's my little pal again. <laughs> Rummaging around the high tide mark. So what I'm going to do is going to have a quick look up and down the tide line. Uh, just to see if we can find anything. Usually we find some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna start away from the back over by the rocks, which is over here. So we'll quickly look around, see if there's anything about. I'm not gonna go on the rocks because it's a bit, a bit slippy. So we'll put the rummage around. No, can't see anything sticking out the rocks or anything. I'm just going to walk the high tide line and just see if there's anything cool we can find. Now I did see something cool on the way in here, which was a bit random to be on the beach, but there we go. Just having a quick scout round. Fishing line. <laughs> There's a jacket on the beach over here. Which has got some some feathers entangled in it. Oh, it's a couple of leads. A couple of leads on there, so I'll cut them off and use them. And we'll dispose of the jacket. Someone's obviously decided to leave on the beach, which is a shame. Well, that was fishing line then, but it's just some kind of seaweed. So, high tide marks up here then. Loads of crabs, loads of shells. Even a ray purse. Tennis ball. It's been chewed up. Bottles. It's a shame I didn't bring a bag today. Could have done with one. Cut a fish bone there. Got my foot. And also the find of the day up here a kid's scooter it's just being left on the beach which I presume is broken and someone doesn't want to take it home which is a yeah, bit, bit disappointing right let's go and uh, see how many leads we've got on this jacket here and uh, I think we'll wrap it up not much happened fishing wise, but hey ho, that's the way it goes sometimes. Right, so in the end we just found two leads that were wrapped in that jacket there. What I'll do is I'll uh, use these on my rehoming project um, and rehouse them with uh, kids that want to try sea fishing, which is cool. So we'll whack them in the backpack. 
nice and safe. And then I think that's going to be me for today. And we'll find a bin to get rid of all this stuff in. Right, folks, so that is it from me for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the session. Unfortunately, it wasn't very productive on the fishing wise, uh, but hey ho, you know, we'll get on to the next one and uh, make it a good one, hopefully. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. All right, just gonna get this litter in the bin. Recycle balls in there. There we go. It's all in the bin. That can go by the side, and hopefully someone will take it and get rid of it. Please do throw away your litter.